everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today with Thrifty Thursday. Um, I am just going to jump in. So I did a little bit of thrifting this week. I found quite a bit of stuff, like not huge amounts, but good stuff. So for $3.99, I found this huge piece of fabric. It's three meters um, and it was $3.99, as I mentioned, which is amazing. I guess someone had been selling it for $10 and it didn't sell. And it's just owls and pumpkins and it is so cute I'm thinking of making like a really cute like fall tunic dress for myself I'm really like in love with it um, next I found two super big embroidery hoops which is great I never can find these um, they were $2.49 and $2.99 um, and I really like them because um, what I might do with them is not necessarily use them for embroidery. I may use them um, for weaving projects. So yeah, they're really nice and heavy and they've got good hardware on them. They're not like the kind of cheaper ones that you can get from like Amazon and stuff. These ones came out of like the, um, the Mennonite community kind of area. So yeah, they are really great. Then I found a box of CD envelopes, which I never find really. So originally there were 250 in this package. Um, so if I can open this, I don't want to cut the this this particular Goodwill. Just I don't know. They love tape. They like tape everything. It's crazy. So this was 2.49. I don't know how many are in here, if there's lots used or not. It feels quite heavy though, I don't think. Oh yeah, I don't know that any of them are used really. Maybe a few, I guess if you were to like cram them really hard. But yeah, there's a ton of them in here. And they're the lovely ones with the circle window. I actually don't have any of these, so I'm super happy to have found some so that I can dye them. Um, so yeah. Just pull the rest of my stuff over here. Um, so next I found, actually I'll start with this, some really cute lace. So it's this kind of cool red color and I really like it and there's quite a bit there actually. Then, okay this, um, this is like a whole sari and jodhpurs and the scarf. It was five dollars. Um, so let me take the jodhpurs out. So those are the pants and they're just like a nice gray fabric. Like they're they're lovely. Um, but what I got this for was the sari and the scarf. So if I turn this inside right, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting there slowly but surely like the whole entire sari is beaded and it's just beautiful so beautiful so yeah I'm thinking about you know that would be a really beautiful journal cover and then the sari itself or the uh, scarf itself you know is silk and it's just beautiful it's like unbelievable the whole thing is beaded again um, and it's just really pretty. Then I got this super adorable dress for my daughter. It was $3. <clears throat> and let me just take the tag out here. This is not for journaling, but I had to share it because it's so cute. <laughs> and it's just this cute little owl dress. And the bottom has this cute pleating. I thought it was so cute. Then, oh, I found one book, um, Jock's Hero. So these were 50% off, so it was $4. It's from $18.98. It has a little sticker, a really old little sticker in there. And um, St. Peter's School, Clarence Hayes, Christmas 1901, Jock's Hero. So I'm not really into the title a whole lot, but the book itself is so cute. It has nice paper in it. Um, it's 
it's got a couple of images but I really love this and I think I could easily modify this you know and make a really cute little journal with it and then for $1.29 I found a whole package um, of these little coasters and I really like the bees on them um, and I was thinking about cutting them out they're, they're quite thin they're like cardstock paper coasters and then I found these for 50 cents. So I'm trying to decide if these will make my stitching storage a little easier. Cause see this is like a little sticker and it comes off, but I won't take it too far. You pull your floss out of here. So you can, you know, wind up your floss and keep it inside these little plastic bobbin holders and it keeps your floss kind of in floss minders so my daughter actually was the one who found those and she's like mom you know can we get these for the for our stitching and I was like sure so they're actually pretty great um and then kind of an unusual find here so I saw this because it was hanging on a rack of things they were just bringing out and the first thing I noticed is it's absolutely some kind of organic cotton or wool right so um, it is like I believe some type of a probably more professional cosplaying type uniform you know or outfit um so it was 750 and it's made by mythalon it's a size extra large and it's mythalon um see like mythalon.com like i think they do kind of like um period wear or like ren fair type clothing but um i guess it's made in like i don't know where bastion hemmed this looks like wool baum wool um natural bastion shirt cotton cream xl so um i don't know if this is a german company or not the mythalon you can look them up mythalon.com or mythalon store but why did i get this okay so it's big sure but that's okay because like look at this really fun collar i mean it would be beautiful nightwear to begin with and it's got like flouncy sleeves and it's really big in the body um and then it's got these sleeves but like it's got ties on them so like even though it's a really big size i could definitely um figure it out but the whole reason i bought it is for eco printing and i'm so excited about that i think it will be amazing with like an e e big eco printed leaves like oak leaves or um you know castor or something oh i was super happy to find that <clears throat> and then just a couple other bits and bobs i'll keep my um my book haul for the Friday book haul. I gave you one, one little book that I, this is um, vintage wrapping paper, actually. Really nice gold and a floral. They had a bunch of these. I grabbed two because I thought they were really pretty. And then this one, too, I thought was really, really fun. And I think it would go well in my garden gnome journal. So I'm going to be working on garden gnome journals eventually. Um, but yeah that's everything so we didn't do too bad right that, that was a nice little thrift haul so thanks for joining me and i will talk to you again very soon and i hope you have a fun day